Good evening once again, now the late news. The controversial Adult Adoption Information Bill passed another stage in Parliament today. The House of Representatives voted 52 to 16 on non-party lines to accept the bill back from a select committee. The bill would allow adopted people over 20 to get information about their birth unless the birth parents had indicated within the previous 10 years that they didn't want to be contacted. Some items in a makeup kit from Taiwan have been found to contain massive quantities of lead. The makeup has been on sale in New Zealand since 1983. The health department says the makeup is called Day and Night Makeup Kit and it's labelled batch number 1638. People owning such makeup are advised to wrap it and throw it out with the rubbish. New Zealand has had a trade surplus in three of the first five months of this year. This follows news today of a trade surplus for May of $67 million, compared to a $7 million deficit for May last year. The post office has withdrawn from all mortgage offers to non-post office customers. In the two months since the scheme began, $130 million of mortgage money had been lent to non-customers at an interest rate of 19%. The cancellation of the scheme stems from the fact that the money allocated has been used up and the situation will be reviewed at the end of the financial year. Overseas and aviation experts are working against the clock to recover the flight recorder from the Air India Boeing that went down in the Atlantic off the coast of Ireland. It's in about 2,000 metres of water, but there are fears it might have been dispersed by ocean currents and that its electronic signal will soon die down. Meanwhile, an international police operation centred on India, Canada, Britain and Japan is trying to trace the terrorist group suspected of planting a bomb on board the airliner.